Look at that size. This one is a little bit more gray in color, but we're trying to go right up here to this guy. You can see this is a severely abused, damaged tree. See if I can reach up to the top of there. Just hold on a second again, guys. Hi. We are deep in the woods this morning in northern Minnesota. In our search for the Shaga, uh, what we found on this one, if you can see it there, and if you break it loose here, you can actually see the size and the texture. And this is pretty soft. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to dry this. And we're just going to take as much as we need here. We don't need to stockpile this stuff. We're just going to take uh, a few pieces and let the rest of it just stay here in this location so we can come back for more when we need it. Uh, look over you can see a couple of these laying down here and again this is where we're gonna find these these mushrooms and here look at this great great piece here now I'm going to zoom in and take a look at these these mushrooms right on the side of this birch tree. Let's walk up and get a closer look. Looks like we've had some uh, woodpeckers befriending us here. And look at that. And if you can see way up all these growths on the side of this birch tree. This is the chaga mushroom. And so what's happening is all the nutrients, it's probably got a little damaged in this tree has been damaged. Maybe by animals, maybe by just through time. But now all these mushrooms are sucking all the nutrients out of this spot. All the minerals are coming up right out of the root systems into these into these mushrooms. And this is just full of them. We have a lot of small size, smaller than my hand. Um, as you go more towards the top, I believe the, uh, the better ones are going to be higher up. More difficult to get to, but that's the rich, the richness of them. And here we have another one down here. So this is a great, great find here. We uh, been hiking through the woods, northern Minnesota, and came across a nice, nice find of chaga mushroom. I want you guys to see this. This is the uh, the tree. This is a broken down dead birch tree. And as you can see on the side we have some chaga growing off there. And also up towards the top. Look at that nice. I want to show you how we're going to get this off this tree here. So I'm not sure if I can work the camera by myself, but I'm just going to stand up on this branch here and see if I can reach the top where the good, nice chaga mushroom sits. And I will continue from there.
Well, I grabbed on to this second stem of this tree and it just toppled over on me. You can see how spongy looking the insides of this tree is here. And I'm going to maybe see if I can prop myself using that. Look at these three right on the side here up towards the top. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and grab a hold of that. Bear with me again. Let's see if I end up down on my my All right. Well, I was able to grab onto it and off it went down down here. So let's go take a look what we got. Well, here we go. This is it. You can see the bark still lining that came off when I pulled it off. But look at that. Look at that size. It's actually good weight to it. I was surprised. I was thinking some of the other ones were pretty light. Kind of sponginess. But this is... This seems like a pretty dense, rich mushroom here. I can't wait to get it dried up and uh, put this to use. Okay everyone, this is not the chaga mushroom. Uh, I did a little research, uh, did a little homework, and to find out this is a tinder hoof fungus also known as Fomes fomentarius. This is a, you know, sometimes it's used as tinder. Uh, it's also a black hoof mushroom. So again, sorry, this is not the chaga mushroom. This is, we're in the hunt for it though, and uh, this is what we came across in our hunt for it. Well, if you want to see more videos like this, we're going to find the chaga mushroom here soon. So please subscribe below. Also, if you have any comments, uh, on these types of mushrooms, uh, any uh, uh, benefits from these type of mushrooms, uh, and please leave a comment below.